Tonight we're going to be discussing the film The Wolf of Wall Street. The Wolf of Wall Street is directed by Martin Scorsese and it's about Jordan Belfort, a young wealthy stockbroker on Wall Street. His character is played by Leonardo DiCaprio and at the beginning of the film we're introduced to Leonardo DiCaprio as Belfort as a young, greedy, money hungry guy. In this film we see several examples of Scorsese glorifying Belfort's lifestyle and the way he rose to fame and the way he rewarded himself for that fame. In Bayside, Queens, the year I turned 26 as the head of my own brokerage firm, I made $49 million, which really pissed me off because it was three shy of a million a week. <laughs> The Wolf of Wall Street is a film filled with debauchery, sex, and drugs. It's a feel-good film that many men feel like they're just along the ride for. And Belfort, now that he is a million-dollar man, he felt that he deserved a million-dollar woman. He cheated on his wife, and money makes a man do that sometimes. In this film, we are showed a scene where his wife actually opens the door of a limousine and Belfort is in the vehicle with his mistress doing drugs of anything else. You! Get out of the fucking car! Relax, sweetheart. Relax. Son of a fucking bitch! Jesus! In the film, Belfort also rewards his posse of stockbrokers. The firm that he worked at, Stratton Oakmont, really was not your ordinary stockbroker firm. They had parties that were not limited to strippers and prostitutes, briberies. Even in the film, we're showed a scene where a woman accepts a bribe to shave her head bald in exchange for breast implants. He also invites strippers in, prostitutes in, all after a great week at the firm. And throughout the film, many parties take place, not only at the firm, but outside of the firm as well. But the most of the time, the firm really got out of hand. And here's a scene where uh, Belfort has invited in strippers. In this scene, you see the life of the firm, and like I said, it's not your ordinary stockbroker firm on Wall Street. These guys really get out of hand, and it shows them almost as worshiping Belfort and treating him as a king, basically, a king of, or a wolf of Wall Street. And the parties outside of the firm were really drug-infused with a popular drug in the 90s, or quaaludes. And Belfort commonly supplied the drugs at these parties, and ways of rewarding his, his employees, uh, basically. And so this scene here shows the use of the quaaludes at the parties. Oud, or lewd, as it is commonly referred to, was first synthesized in 1951 by an Indian doctor, that's dots, not feathers, as a sedative, and was prescribed to stressed out housewives with sleep disorders. 
pretty soon, someone figured out that if you resisted the urge to sleep for just 15 minutes, you got a pretty kick-ass high from it. Didn't take long for people to start abusing lewds, of course, and in 1982, the U.S. government schedule won them, along with the rest of the world. Throughout the film and the scenes that we previewed here tonight, you see that Scorsese really does glorify Belfort as a man and as a stockbroker on Wall Street. He idolizes the way that he became a millionaire and rewards himself and rewards his employees. Little focus is paid to the FBI investigation into Mr. Jordan Belfort and his illegal stockbroking ways. Uh, so there again, you see where Scorsese is focusing on the positive and not so much the negative. Even at the end of the film, during Belfort's downfall, little attention is paid to that and is quickly brought back to us at the end of the film when Belfort is actually a motivational speaker. He has been released from prison and although he has fines to pay, he's a motivational speaker. And in the film, Scorsese actually uses the real Jordan Belfort to introduce DiCaprio who is playing Mr. Belfort in the film. So I want you right now to give a warm Auckland, New Zealand welcome for my good friend and the world's greatest sales trainer, Mr. Jordan Belfort. Even though Belfort, a real-life civilian, in the film The Wolf of Wall Street, you would think that he was just the perfect guy. The way Scorsese portrays the character of Jordan Belfort in the film is not the true interpretation of a man like Jordan Belfort. That's my speech. Do any of the audience members have any questions? No. no. If not, thank y'all.